What should you wear to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse? Who owns the company? And will people ever get over that name? You asked, and we've got the answers. It goes without saying that steakhouses maintain some semblance of a dress code. While some establishments are more lenient than others in this sense, Ruth's Chris is generally considered one of the stricter franchises when it comes to the attire required of patrons for in-house dining. Per the company's own website, business casual is considered the dress guideline. No ball caps, cut-off sleeves, athletic attire, or revealing garments are to be permitted in the dining rooms. However, according to employees, and customers alike, this stringent dress code may not always be enforced. This inconsistency has bred some confusion regarding the company's supposed official policy, inspiring numerous posts across social media platforms. One Yelp user asked about the dress code and was told that the clothing requirement is dressy, with denim jeans being a definite no. However, when the same question was posed on TripAdvisor, another individual responded, just about anything goes. Casual to dressy is fine. They don't have a dress code, and everyone is comfortable regardless of what you're wearing. Despite this slight lack of clarity, to ensure you'll be let in to dine at any Ruth's Chris, you should probably stick to the official website's regulations before showing up. One of the hardest-hit professional sectors during the COVID pandemic was the restaurant industry, which relies on dine-in customers to stay afloat. For the smaller restaurants and the independents, they measure their cash flow in days, maybe weeks. This is not something that's sustainable for them anytime soon. The financial struggle for eateries was so intense that the federal government offered sums of money to help qualifying small businesses get by. But Ruth's Chris used a loophole to acquire $20 million in government funds, despite its status as a large-scale company. The decision backfired from a PR perspective, and critics attacked the chain for what was universally considered to be a questionable decision on their part. One of these critics was none other than Ryan Fertel. Ryan Fertel is the grandson of Ruth Fertel, the founding matriarch of Ruth's Chris. He announced his disapproval via X, formerly known as Twitter. The post read, Dear Ruth's Chris, Ruth's grandson here, I salute the decision you made yesterday to return the $20 million small business loan, but it's not enough. Fertel went on to express his desire for the chain to do more, to take more formative action to give back to people in the same way that his grandmother had done so many years ago. Whether or not Ruth's Chris has taken Fertel's advice into account, however, is impossible to say. Darden Restaurants Inc. is a powerhouse in the restaurant operation industry. The company, which is based out of Florida, owns Olive Garden, Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, The Capitol Grill, Seasons 52, and Longhorn Steakhouse, among others. And the company has added yet another successful restaurant chain to its collection. Yes, this newcomer is none other than Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, which the corporation purchased in May 2023 for $715 million. With $100 55 locations in total, Ruth's Chris has become Darden's fourth biggest chain, behind Olive Garden, Longhorn, and Cheddar's. Darden plans to expand the celebrated steakhouse by about 10% per year. After the Ruth's Chris acquisition, Darden controls three of the five biggest steakhouse chains in the U.S. What that actually means for Ruth's Chris itself, however, remains to be seen. If there's one thing other than steak that Ruth's Chris is famous for, it's that rather unusual name. Unsurprisingly, the name Ruth's Chris has prompted all kinds of questions from consumers on various online platforms. You'd think that the constant curiosity from customers would grow old for the restaurant, but the franchise has taken it with grace. In 2022, however, a satirical article on Clickhole claimed the steakhouse had finally lost its composure. The piece jokingly claimed Ruth's Chris had run multiple posts filled with expletives directed at consumers, making blatant requests for people to cease questioning its name. It read, in part, How about if our name was Ruth is Chris Steakhouse? We can go on and on. No issue for us to switch it up since our customers clearly get off on bawling their eyes out over something as simple as Ruth's Chris. The article also included supposed screenshots of the obscene posts. These statements made their way across the internet, sparking conversations as to their legitimacy on Reddit. But as one user rightly said, anyone who thought this was real needs to learn to navigate the internet better.